Okay, um, here it is, my, um, modified simplex clock. Um, as you can see, it's missing the glass. I couldn't get the spring thing back in, so, um, I had to take it off. I still have it, though. And, um, here's the mechanism that, the pulse mechanism that I used to make it work. It no longer works. Um, it's now running on a quartz clock battery thingy. And um, I originally had a 15 minute video of me taking it apart and putting it together, but um, I decided not to upload it. So uh, anyway, um, and um, as you can see right now, it's, well you probably can't see it, but it's actually moving right now. And the hour hand's a little off, but that can be adjusted just by moving it. And um, it still has all the same parts except for the mechanism. That's all the, the hands are the same. And the um, clock face is the same. And what I realized is that these simplex clock have paper faces and metal faces. So what I found out is if it's yellowish dull, it's a paper face like this one. If it's as silver, it means it's metal. And I just learned that. And um, I did this all by myself. I had no help. I, like I could get any anyway. And um, I've seen other people do it, so I decided to do it myself. So that's what I did. And it uses a normal, like a time warp clock that I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond. You wear that Beyond section. But anyway, um, this is a newer Simplex clock. You say it has the newer Simplex logo on it. And um, I would take it off the wall, but it's actually nailed into the wall, so I can't. If I get it off, I'm going to need a screwdriver. And it's kind of hard to put back on. So it took me about an hour to get it on. And I have a good plan to leave it there, unless the battery dies, at which point I'll take it off and change the battery. But at probably that point, I'll probably just wire it into the wall, which would probably be more accurate, as the wall is 60 hertz, so probably more accurate. Anyway, um, it runs on one battery, one AA, 1.5 volts, standard battery. And um, you can set the time just by using the little turn gear on the back as on any standard clock that's not atomic. I was gonna make this an atomic clock actually, which I thought would be pretty cool, which I actually might do. But I'm not sure if atomic clocks use radioactive material like smoke detectors do. So I'm gonna see if I can buy a ra radioactive. Well, they are radioactive. Um, I think they have to be. Uh, an atomic clock and build one.